Good evening. The Philippine National Police says that the chief of the Navotas Police Station and 21 other cops have been reassigned following the death of Jim Boy Baltasar. In a memorandum of the PNP, Police Colonel Alan Umipig and 21 others have been reassigned to the Regional Holding and Accounting Section of the National Capital Region Police Office. This comes after Umipik was relieved from his post following the recommendation of the PNP Internal Affairs Office. Umipik also faces complaints of dishonesty and command responsibility as well as administrative charges with the 11 other police officers involved in Baltasar's death as they allegedly did not follow operational procedures. On August 2, Baltasar was killed by Navotas police who mistook him for a suspect they were pursuing. Tollway concessionaires are set to conduct a two-month dry run for contactless payments starting September 1. The dry run for cashless transactions using the RFID stickers will cover North Luzon Expressway, Subic Clark Tarlac Expressway, Cavite Laguna Expressway, and the Manila Cavite Toll Expressway C5 South Link. It will also cover Naia Expressway, South Metro Manila Skyway Stages 1 and 2, South Luzon Expressway, Montenupa Cavite Expressway, Metro Manila Skyway Stage 3, Tarlac Pangasinan La Union Expressway, and Star Tollway. In a statement, the Toll Regulatory Board says the activity would ascertain the readiness of tollway concessionaires and operators for the smooth and efficient re-implementation of the contactless program. President Bongbong Marcos says the relationship between the Philippines and Japan has evolved to include agreements concerning security and defense, according to Malacanang. The chief executive made this statement in a meeting with Komito Party Chief Representative Yamaguchi Natsuo in the palace on Wednesday. Marcos highlighted Japan's contributions not only in terms of training and equipment, but also in agreements that preserve the peace and allow the free conduct of trade and shipping in the South China Sea. The president also expressed his great concern over the tensions in the Korean Peninsula. Marcos told his guests that the Philippines supported the plans of Japanese Prime Minister Fumio Kishida adding that the proponents of peace in the region be the dominant voice. The president also brought up the country's previous communications with Japan about joint patrols in the West Philippine Sea. A Filipino in Hawaii says his family is left with nothing after the Maui wildfires reduced their home to ashes. Jun Carlo Santos tells Inquire.net that he had wanted to return to his house to see if he could salvage anything from the fire, but was left empty-handed. Kahit pa paano, gusto ko may masave or makita, kahit ano man lang. Pero dumating ako sa bahay, sa site, sa buong town talaga, talagang lahat sunod. Mga sasakyan, appliances, everything down, walang natira talaga. Santos recalls narrowly escaping with his family from the wildfires, bringing only his two dogs, some clothes, and his baby's milk. He recounts feeling the heat from the fires and how it was getting hard to breathe. Santos and his family eventually sought shelter at the hotel he works at. The wildfires that devastated parts of Maui have killed at least 110 people, according to Hawaii's governor. Santos says even if nothing is left of their home, he is grateful his family is safe. Um, mixed emotion pa rin talaga na hindi pa rin makapaniwala na nang ganun nangyari. Nakakalungkot lang din every time na maalala mo lang experience na like we almost died. Alam mo yun na talaga, na, nakakaano lang talaga, nakatroma din na um, every time na maisip ko yun. Pero every time na naisip ko yun, talagang um, pinabak up ko na as long as we're safe, kasi material na bagay, mapapalta niyan, as long as lahat ng buhay kami, ayun, di, di mapapalta kasi yun. Eh. Cebu City has declared drag artist Pura Luca Vega persona non grata. During its regular session on Wednesday, the Cebu City Council passed a resolution declaring Pura Luca Vega as persona non grata. The resolution was penned by Councillor Pastor June Alcover Jr. There were no objections to its approval during the session. In his resolution, Alcover described Vega's controversial performance as offensive. Vega had performed a remix of the Ama Namin Dressed in a Black Nazarene inspired drag costume. The councillor adds that Cebu City is also the first local government in Central Visayas to impose a persona non grata upon the artist. Multiple localities in the Philippines have declared Vega as persona non grata following the viral performance. Vega previously questioned these declarations, saying the localities did not understand the intent of their performance. Alamin naman natin ang mainit na balita sa mundo ng showbiz kasama si Pauline Del Rosario ng Bandera.
Pauline? Hello, Jean! At sa mga kabandera natin all over the universe. Heto ang latest chika. Muling nagsalita ang aktres na si Alexa Miro patungkol sa tunay na relasyon nila ng presidential son na si Sandro Marcos. Yan ay matapos mag-trending ang sweet video ni Nayasi Pressman at Sandro kamakailan lang na itinanggi naman agad ni Yasi. Kasabay kasi niyan, may mga marites na kinakamusta ang relasyon ni na Alexa at ng Ilocos Norte representative. Muling paglilinaw ni Alexa, magkaibigan lang talaga sila ni Sandro. Chika pa nga niya sa isang podcast interview, maraming kaibigang babae ang panganay na anak ni Pangulong Marcos. At kaya raw siguro nakuha niya ang atensyon ng publiko, ito ay dahil bago pa lang siya sa entertainment industry. Kumalat ang chismis na may something ang dalawa matapos umamin si Sandro kay Lani Mercado na may jowa siyang taga Cavite. Ilang beses nang nilinaw ni Alexa na super close lang sila ni Sandro pero nananatiling buhay ang romantic rumors nilang dalawa. At yan ang latest bandera chika natin for today. Thank you, Jean! Maraming salamat, Pauline. Here's the latest roundup of today's top stories. Tollway concessionaires to conduct two-month dry run for contactless payments starting September 1. PNP says the chief of Navotas police and 21 other cops have been reassigned following the death of Jamboy Baltasar. And Cebu City joins in declaring Pura Luca Vega as persona non grata. And these are the stories you need to know today. I'm Jean Mangalus. Follow Inquire.net on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, and Reddit. For more stories, visit Inquire.net.